<laughs> okay, we'll start. We're a little uh, couple of minutes late. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for coming. And uh, we may have one councillor arrive a little late. He's been at another meeting. Um, so apologies and reasons for absence. Um, obviously, just to call just the councillor who may be late. Colin Sykes. Um, declaration by members of any interest, pecuniary or other land, in accordance with the usual rules. You've got um, 9A Sue, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Does anybody else, which is outlook, does anybody else have any issues? Sorry. What's going on? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Plenty in floor. Uh, nobody else. Okay. Uh, and it's another land, so you don't need to uh, take any other action. Um, so no applications to be put to the chairman in respect of members seeking a dispensation. A reminder for everybody and the councillors especially that the meeting is being recorded and will be put on the internet, on YouTube, all being well. Uh, at this point I will adjourn for the public session. Um, usual rules apply, they're all listed on the agenda. Um, we normally talk about the planning applications first. Um, so the first one is the redundant barn at Ewan Land Public House and the question of its conversion and change of use into a one bedroom dwelling with garden area and parking. Now we did have this on our agenda a few months ago. Um, we heard extensively from the neighbours there, um, I see some here, we heard extensively at the time. Um, I am told by the clerk who's checked the application that nothing has changed. It was simply withdrawn and reapplied for. We don't really know why. <coughs> there must be some reason. Um, so councillors have all heard that before, um, unless they have any other mm -hmm. questions. Or you want to add any other points. Um, and then councillors, when we get back to the meeting, can decide whether they hold the same view that they did before, which is a matter of record, was to object or whether, and they're all entitled to, and me, uh, whether they've changed their mind. But in principle, we have heard a lot of the story before and, and feel free to repeat or change or add to anything if you wish to, of course, and anyone else <coughs> as well. So that's you and Anne. Would you like to say things? <coughs> um, only, um, obviously nothing's changed from the last panel application and what, what you heard from us before, um, he was quite happy to not let that go through. I just hope that you have on the same opinion, because it's um, quite upsetting for some people that live there. Sure. One person in particular, I think you know Leslie, yes. who does a lot of work in the uh, village. She's very upset about it. Mm -hmm. and she couldn't come tonight like she wanted to. Right. So, um, to the extent that she's going to get legal action or um, sure. moving out of the village and that's how much she's upset. Yeah, I, I, I know and we she has told me that. The, the impact. Yeah. She has told me that earlier. The, the impact's going to be quite Very a lot sorry. of impact for us. Okay, thank you for that. Jenny, do you want to add anything? Just the same. Same thing, really, um, yes. I think what we all are, are a bit alarmed about is the way now they're talking about parking and garden. Um, all there is is the sort of curbside, and it's a small plantation. No one, absolutely no one, has done anything to that except Leslie and I, and the, you know, what we call the muses. They've never, the people who have never been near to do anything to that building, ever, or do anything to the garden. And, uh, or, well, what do they call the garden? Sure. And what we're worried about is if they do get this um, development through. If they're going to put up some sort of wall or a fence, sure. Leslie will be almost be almost impossible for her to get a car out, and it's going to make it pretty difficult for me to get in and out of my sure. parking space. So with all that in mind, we are fiercely against it, and we just hope that Indeed. it never goes through. And what we did learn last time in the discussion from you and other people who came was that the position of ownership of the different meters of land. Yeah meter here and a meter there is both complicated and dare I say disputed and I'm not suggesting that you're wrong just that there are differences of view and there seems to yeah. be a question as to who has got uh, rights over the access which is most of it and the parking for the pub 
which the inspector reserved when he granted the permission for those houses and all the rest of it. And we do know <coughs> that it is complicated and that is something that perhaps you do need serious legal input. You shouldn't have to, but that may well be a, a good idea. Does anyone else in the public want to add anything on that particular application? No? Can I just ask a quick question? question. Yeah. Um, thank you uh, to our clerk for confirming there wasn't any changes in it from the original. I was trying to look through and see if the, I couldn't spot any. But notwithstanding, is there anything that you think has materially changed since the last time? Or as far as you know, is it just, just the same again? Just the same. Yeah, okay. same again. Yeah. But he was talking much more uh, about developing a garden. I mean, I don't know whether any of you know exactly what we're talking about or what we're talking about, but I mean, there is no way you can... It's a border. It, it, it's just a small piece of land, and I don't know what he's planning to do, but he plans to put up some sort of a wall or something to contain, to contain what he's going to call a garden. It could make our lives very, very mm -hmm. difficult. But nothing, nothing really has changed from the last no. application. I'm not sure. You've got the problems with the LPG gas as well. Well, it's all, well I mean, there are endless problems, yeah, of course. Service, there's no services. Ambulances and services yeah. coming in. Yeah. Would be okay. Thanks. Anyone else? One thing that I think you must make sure that you do and all of you do is that you have a one thing that I think you must make sure you do and all of you do, assuming you are all of a similar mind, is all put in separately differently preferably don't just copy each other's everything that is wrong with it everything that we you have, have disputed that's be all got to go in action yeah, it's, it's always now it's, it's all yeah, yeah. good okay. all quite excellent. comprehensive excellent. someone who's not here tonight Keith yes um, done I saw that about six pages yeah. Yeah. Yes, no, 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 I read that one through yeah. and it, well, that was pretty comprehensive we've yes. sort of yes. mirrored in, in <laughs> other directions what he's resubmitted did not he Yes. It has, that, that has been it's all That's been the key. It's got to go back in on either the same or the new number. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, we, we have actually all Good. written and done that. Excellent. Well, Excellent. Well, you also have the benefit of what it wouldn't go to committee, though, would it? But oh, I, I mean, the, there's one thing that I just want to say. I don't know whether it makes any difference, but he talks about it being a redundant bar. Mm -hmm. But actually, the other day, he came with an enormous van and an enormous trailer. And it's a garage. He put this trailer into what we call a garage. Yes. There's no doubt about it, yeah. it's a garage. And uh, that is our only hope, really. <laughs> it, is, sure. you know, it is a garage. It's well, a plus, the, plus the land issues, because you, know, you do have, although it's a tangle because of the various bankruptcies, as I understand it, and I'm only regurgitating what I've been told, I know no more than that. Um, Although it's, the land is complicated, you do have certain rights. Um, they may be rights that are sort of complicated and contradicted and all the rest of it, but you do have them. I, I, it's pretty. It would be very surprising if your solicitors, when you originally bought, didn't ensure that various rights endured. Mm. Um, and you need to understand what they are with your solicitors and press them, would be my suggestion. That's not a matter for this council, that's just my yeah. suggestion Thank sitting you. here and hearing, and I know it's a very anguished point. So, okay, can we move on from that one? We've also got... Thank you very much. Thank you. You're, you're, you're welcome. Thank you very okay. much. For well, it's good anyway. to see you anyway, Thank and you. um, you'll be able to pick up afterwards okay. um, yeah, we'll what we decide. Thank you. And, and of course, ultimately, um, the clerk could be asked to put in the council's response to that, um, to the you know the website as well. Right. That's probably we quicker than looking at the minutes because they won't be confirmed yeah. until September, oh, okay. unless you listen to the recording of course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you will be able to see on Ashford's site whatever we ask for the clerk to put in. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alex. You're welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, so the other planning application, which is an unusual one, is the uh, British Church of England Primary School. This is different because it gets decided by the Education Authority, well, by Kent on behalf of the Education Authority rather than Ashford. Um, they do get consulted by Ashford. Oh yes, they do, but they don't, and they can say what they think as well, but they don't decide it. Um, does anyone in the public... Uh, seats wish to comment on said application for redoing the um, 
the small people's play area in the primary school. The infant's bit. No? Okay. And we'll discuss it when we get to it then. Okay. Um, so other things that people would like to raise in the public session? Who wants to go first? Can you ask Joe first? <laughs> oh, Joe first, you're right. Well, I was going to give you that input. Joe and I have this thing going, you see. And I you see I get, yeah, yeah, it's nice to point We had noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've remembered, actually. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I seem to have switched from after the public session to before it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine, I'm happy. <laughs> Um, I, I haven't got an awful lot to report this month. It's been pretty quiet in, in the village. Um, I know Lee's dealt with a couple of um, fly tips. Um, and I did, along with my supervisor, the scam awareness talk last week. Um, sure. We had 22 people came. Um, yes, yeah, well done. Yeah, and I, yeah, I think it was well yeah. received yeah, yeah. and hopefully informative. So, um, And like I've said as well, I'm quite happy to arranged to deliver that to other groups if there are other sure. groups that, that are interested in, in receiving that I think maybe would benefit from it. Um, yeah, it's been pretty quiet really. Um, we haven't had any updates on any issues from previous months from the PCSO or anything like that. Um, yeah, okay. There's been a bit of thieving going on, yeah. which obviously is not directly your concern, no. but you will keep a, 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 an ear to the ground as it were. Yes. Um, does anyone want to ask Joe any or make any points to Joe? Um, I don't know whether it was covered at the last meeting when I wasn't here, but um, there was vandalism in College Wood. Oh, I've heard about it. It um, was very upsetting mm -hmm. and could have been quite catastrophic <coughs> yes. because fires were lit, things were burned, and it was at a time when it was very dry. Mm -hmm. Um, and considering that that wood is, you know, open access, yeah. even though it's a private wood, um, it seems particularly upsetting that that's happened. Mm -hmm. I believe that was something that um, the PCSO was looking into, but like I said, I haven't had any update or any further information related Could to Could you that, find so out? I, I can speak to her. Yeah. I, I know she's... Because I've heard nothing about it. Yeah. I can do that. I'm good at it. Right. Was it permanent damage or just yes, yes, yes? There's a glade. The there, there's a glade in yes, the wood, up. which yeah. over the years, you know, um, little seats and benches mm. and tables. It's where we have our picnic. We always mm. have our picnic. Oh, there. Um, yeah, there's mm. yes. Mm. Mm. Um, and there was a there's a a swing hanging mm. from the tree, mm. and they were burnt. Mm. I got the impression that Kate sort of had an inkling of who it was. And was going to plan to speak to the parents. Yeah, that, which that was is the probably last an effective time. first line of action. Sure. Um, you know, it's hardly likely to be people who've travelled halfway across England. Oh no, 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 no. But I mean, it's it's within our community. Yeah. I think it was a night yeah. when there was yeah. some celebration going on at the sports hall or something, sports club, mm -hmm. and there was a matter of drinking going on, and maybe some. Um, a couple Did of people talk? There. Mm. there was noise heard in the wood by one of the local residents um, very late and uh, that I think is when it happened. So Jeremy you mentioned okay. thefts, can I just raise that yeah, because please. next door has been indicating that there have been sure. several thefts yeah. in the last week, three or four months yeah. mm -hmm. and we've always been led to believe by everything that's going on that we are a pretty law abiding, mm -hmm. crim free area and it would appear that suddenly I feel slightly uneasy, um, particularly things that are going from, from Poplar Road on the main road and, uh, and other things. And I just wondered if the council perhaps needs to think about how we really push this and advertise it, because whether it's a change in, in um, uh, trend or, or it's just that we haven't heard before because people haven't reported it. I think you ask your own question. And I think we need to push. And that's the key. You'll have noticed that any time it pops up in next door, I immediately go straight on and urge them to yes. report yeah. it. Yeah. And it really yeah. is important. I mean, at one level, it's just more bureaucracy, but the mm -hmm. police officers, in, right up to the chief inspector who comes to the Ashford meeting, which I attend and yes. our chair, um, he says, you must report. Yes. Because the more reports, I mean, it's, it's a numbers game, the more reports, the better it supports his desire to get more officers. 
But of course, we are then, on the other hand, we hear all these uh, figures coming out, statistics, that the number of crimes that are actually report, uh, investigated and come to a conclusion is so minute. Mm. Everybody says, what's the point? Mm. But There's I think, all of that. Is it a, perhaps a campaign? Yeah. I don't know. Just push an idea. There's all of that too, Roger. Notices up in the yeah. village hall and, and around and that will plant state. Well, part it? of it's vigilance, yeah. isn't it? I mean, yeah. there was the one next to you, the trailer disappeared. Mm. Yes. He had been away for a fortnight and it was left there and someone yeah. said, oh, I've got an opportunity. Well, it was, there. unfortunately, they were expecting delivery and, and they left the gate open. Um, and the trailer was out of view. It was hidden behind the, the mobile, temporary mobile home they got there. So it was either someone who knew it was there mm. uh, or someone who just went in and wandered. But you yeah. had to be quite, I mean, this was a, a double axle mm. trailer yeah, that's, that's probably as long as this table and, you know, almost yeah. as wide. So, you know, you need, you need the, the appropriate vehicle to tow it. Um, I'm going to the uh, police parish forum on Thursday. So I'll raise this and just get a, a sense. But actually, you know, just to echo Jeremy's point, I'm not suggesting we need a really good crime wave. Yeah. Um, but actually, if we want resources in our neck of the woods, we have to make sure yeah. that they're aware, or the authorities are aware of the fact that's, that we need them. So, you know, it, there's nothing worse than finding out that someone's had something stolen but can't be bothered to report it. Um, so, yeah. you know, just well, keep, keep encouraging. Like, maybe they could be reported, but if you can't afford extra officers, by security cameras, which could report some of it. Mm. The other thing as well, this, this time of year, um, this type of crime does escalate in, you know, all across rural oh. areas. Because it's, it's... It's young people who have not been able to do in the lights, the yeah, lights light. Nicer weather, so, you know, people have windows and doors open mm -hmm. and the opportunities yeah. are out because they know this. So, you know, the, I think the rates do tend to go up a little bit. Yes, there was the extreme there. case of the ramps that got stolen, of course, and mm -hmm. having got new ramps, they got stolen again, but they found who it was, or so they say. And I think mm -hmm. the PCSO was hopefully on that. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah she's The other thing is, of course, not to ignore metal thefts. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether they are nice ramps or nice trailers, they're also metal. Mm -hmm. could, I, could I thank from a, a resident's point of view, thank Jo for her presentation last year. See, mm. 22 is quite good, but mm. well, probably the people who should have been there possibly weren't. Sadly weren't. Or the other way around, possibly <laughs> there, probably <laughs> weren't. Um, and uh, there was, a, there was a, a lot of hard-hitting stuff in that. It was. And, it was um, good, good presentation. It was, it was, it was good. So. I thought it was a shame there weren't more people there. Mm. Uh, the difficulty will be getting people out because it's one of those things that everyone kind of knows about it, but some of the things that were put across were, yeah. were valuable knowledge. Right. Yes. Um, can I just, um, as a scan, Outlook on Oxley is coming up in your thing because you're going to give them some money. I've been a critic in the past, as mm. you well know. Mm. Um, I just find it so much more interesting these days. I don't know what's changed. I can't analyse it. I'm not trying to. Um, but it's, it's great. Um, it's, it's doing what I think it probably ought to have been doing. And I speak now as the ex-Voices chairman. Uh, and it's coming over much, much better. So uh, I just wanted to say that. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, yeah. And the school reports are brilliant. Mm. Just like to see more football reports. The football report that was in there um, was excellent, as always, at the end of the year. But we get nothing during the year. And it would be so nice to hear the British football team and its successes or the development problems that, that they're having. Um, it would be so nice to hear it. Uh, I said, and I've said that before. Um, hedges and things, just sorry, going on, but uh, mm -hmm. it's so nice to see them all being cut down. It's a dreadful time of year, it seems to be growing even quicker. Just one area in my walking shoes, um, which maybe get forgotten, is outside Forge, the Forge Meads, which are the trees which overhang the pavement. I got whipped in the face by one about two or three weeks ago, it was very windy. And they are the, the branches are the trees right the grass, now, by over the over the pavement. Um, and well, I know there's lots of other things to do. The Alf is absolutely it's not, the it's, it's, it's not Ashford Borough Council. Well, we land. must say something because there's somebody's going to get really hit with one of those if there's a wind. Um, We're talking on the main road. I'm talking they're on, they're on the main road. On the grass and they hang yeah, over. Yeah, absolutely. Just 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 before you get to. Um, yeah, it's on for in front of um, by Phil's Park. Yeah, but, but right in the front, and that's uh, it's actually that's actually. But I just <coughs> okay. 
And that's, that's why. That's why. Okay. Does anyone else from the public seats want to say anything? Yes, if I may. Yes, Phil, please. Um, at last, they've cut that awful hedgerow um, between where the junction is between Poplar Road and the street. Um, but it's still not right. And, and I, I feel very strongly that the landowners should be made aware that there is an inner curve and it's wider than a, a lot wider than this, the yeah, full sure. width of the path in places. Yeah. Yeah. The inner curve is still completely hidden. Yeah by as much as a foot sure. it's trespassing on there and then when you get past the homestead it gets bad again, homeowners down there and I, I, I feel that it, there should be much more stress laid on how householders or homeowners or landowners that this is a public pavement and it should, should be right up to the curb, no, I the inner curb. I totally agree with you, I totally agree with you. We can put stuff in Outlook again, and that's we should. Sure oh, yeah, yeah. I know you've got it in. I'm, I'm <coughs> thinking about being a little bit harder hitting than the usual statement and pointing out what Phil says, which a lot of people say, oh, it's all right, because here's the path. The path very often goes, as Phil is saying, a foot or two foot further mm. than is showing. And it's tough on the hedge, but it can be cut back, and it will then find its own way again. Yeah. Often, of course, what happened was the hedge was planted much too close to the path in the first place. They put the trunk mm. by the by the path rather than give it a foot to grow. But even so, you can see where that part just round the corner into Poplar Road before the jailhouse has been cleared by one resident mm. who looks yeah. after it yeah. shows just how good it okay. could get. Yeah. 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 Uh, and the other mm. thing, of course, on, on that, if I may say, is the brambles coming out again, walking up mm. and down the street. The back. There are several houses where the brambles are coming right across the road. And school children and mums no, and uh, coming Faces. through here. exactly, no, and they're going to get it. sued. I mean, I would if I got no, I, I'm with you. I've crossed. We'd really need to. The uh, difficulty is actually getting it into people's minds, and they do something about it rather than just yeah, we put it in again, and you know, it's water off ducks back. I have noticed it's since it was last in Apple and Oxley recently that the several gardens down the street have actually yeah. where their garden was. Half their garden was actually on the pavement. Right. They have actually now come back. So yeah, there's quite a few have done that. So, so, that's like yeah. so, what, so um, am I correct in assuming, because one resident mentioned this to me last week, that the parish clerk can serve an enforcement notice? Because he said he'd had one from you um, about his hedge. A warning, maybe. I don't issue Case you see it. Well, he was adamant that it was the parish clerk who issued no. the enforcement notice. And I, I, was a bit, I was a bit non plus because I didn't realise you could do that. No. Um, no, but uh, he, he claimed he had one. I um, haven't issued anyone okay. with anything since I had a run in with a resident <laughs> a few years ago. Oh, well, well, I don't think <laughs> it, I, don't I, think it I reported a hedge last year to KCC, yeah. having asked nicely for it to be cut back, and then they wrote to the person concerned. Okay, so that's the process. Unless, the they, got, unless council. they got it cut, they would cut it and send them the bill. Basically. Okay, so it's not the Paris Council, it's the Borough Council. No, no it's the Council. 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 I beg your pardon, the County Council. 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 It's their job because it's highways. Okay. <laughs> All of this is a highways issue. No, I, I didn't think it was, was, but this person was very certain no, it wasn't. that it was. But anyhow, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about right. it. But the point is that. that we can stress that if it's not complied with a polite request, no there is a form of escalation. Mm -hmm. And I do like the point about the fact that you know, you've got a choice. You either do it yourself or you let Ashton Borough Council do it and they'll send you the bill. Kent County Council, sorry. <laughs> if you go on the KCC website, it, yeah. there's actually a, a form to fill in to report things like that. So. Okay. And I do have, in all the notice boards, go. I've got oh. notices about it. Really? There you go. Yeah. So the answer is that residents of the village who have a concern can report it online to Kent County Council. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> can we close the public session? We can. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll close the public session. We'll carry on with our main agenda. Um, so, firstly, the minutes which you have had. Does anyone have any concerns, changes, errors? Admittedly short this time, two and a half pages. Well, three pages in notice board terms. Nothing? Can I sign them down for it? Thank you.
Hello, Colin. Hi. Welcome. <sighs> Councillor C. Sykes entered the room. He's <laughs> <laughs> left. <laughs> right, we have uh, just done the public session, Colin, and we have just approved the minutes. The public session. Um, so, matters arising. First one is the change of KCC policy on free school transport uh, update. Um, last meeting, councillors suggested that we would not do anything more with KCC since we had their last reply, which we found somewhat uh, risible, um, but that I should write to uh, our MP Damien Green asking him what he had come up with since he had earlier said that he would take it up with KCC. Um, I did get a reply, uh, rather interestingly, to Mr. Jeremy Smith, Chairman of Whittisham Parish Council. Oh no, that's the wrong one. I did get one to just Jeremy Smith Whittisham, which arrived, but not this one. You did it with that. <laughs> yeah. my place. Yes. Uh, okay, um, I will read it. Dear Mr. Smith, thank you for your lecture of 23rd, and it's useful by the way, good one. Um, dear Mr. Smith, thank you for your lecture of 21st June. You asked about why I found in my discussions with KCC. I have discovered that this is not just a Whittisham problem, but applies in many other parts of the county. Well, we know that in principle, we just don't know how much it bites. From those discussions, my expectation is that some children will be refused transport in September on the grounds that he puts Y College, it was obviously dictated to Y College, is closer than Homewood, and that the parents will appeal. This appeal will go to the Transport Appeals Panel, Last year, as you know, the appeals were granted, but only on account of late notification of the transport refusal, a condition which, of course, will not apply this year. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. on one side of that. This is where it gets odd, because you've seen my letter, and I just floated at the end, we shouldn't have to go to court to get a judge to say that they're wrong. He has replied, saying this. Given the stance that KCC is taking, I'm afraid that it may well take a court case to establish whether the KCC interpretation of the DFE guidelines is indeed legally sound. It may be that KCC would not wish to have a decision made in this way, especially as this is apparently one of a number of similar situations it faces. On this issue, I think you would be well advised to have a discussion with your own county councillor, Mike Hill, which is my first point of contact with the county council over this matter, and who I know is fully across all the details. He will know better than me the likely response of KCC to the threat of a court case. Hmm. So he is, he is certainly taking the view that we are not, um, we're not, our case is not without any merit, um, and he is not exactly encouraging us, but saying it might be worth a shot. So the thing is really, what do councillors think? I mean, the last thing to be frank that I would want to be doing in principle is threatening a court case with KCC. I mean, we were supposed to be living together. On the other hand, you know, I, I, my point to him, the wording was it shouldn't need it. Mm -hmm. And he's saying it might well need it. But that, does that mean the council or does that mean the parents of the children that are challenging it? Well, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely. Either would do. Yeah. Either would do. I think we encourage them to appeal yeah. and and then we actually await the outcome of the appeal. We certainly do that. We then revisit it and decide then. And I will talk to Mike Hill, of course, and take his views, although I don't know where that will get us. It might be worthwhile, given what Damien Green has said, is that this is a county-wide issue, mm -hmm. um, putting in an FOI request mm -hmm. to say, who are they and how many Good are you thought. dealing with? Good thought. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if it's two, sorry, but if it's 102 or yeah. 202 yeah. or what have you, yeah. Then you've got the basis to have a when you have a, a discussion with Mike to say that there are different courses of action. One is to ramp up the social media and, and media involvement. But, but there are going to be very few which are equivalent to a British. Ambulance. We don't know. You don't well, know. We don't that's, know that's, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of these things. I mean, it's all kind of I'm is it one or is it two or what's the money? Well, well let's face it, there aren't going to be that many villages which are equidistant from two two senior schools like that. No, we, we don't know. Well, we I mean, I just think it won't cost us anything to put in an FOI. No. They will have, of course, opportunities to refuse. 
it on the grounds that it's either too expensive to do it or that it's um, well, involving it's it's right. personal information. But I mean, that's up to them. Got well, we don't have to. We don't have to know like the names no, of the individuals. Just the but we need to no, know I first agree. of all the parish or and or town or borough councils that yeah. are involved, yeah. sure. and and uh, and the number of them. Well, yeah. we, can, we can count them up. They give us an accurate. Yeah. One thing I do know is I've reported it at Calc a few times, yeah. and in the Tenterden Forum, and no one else has ever <coughs> piped up, and in the, and the community okay. transport, yeah. no one else has ever piped up there. But that may just be that the parish councils are not across it, because it's yeah. been going on with, you know, uh, uh, parish just taking it on board. So if I can summarise then, Paul raised a good point about raising an FOI, which we'll have to think about exactly how to word. Um, and I'm away from tomorrow for a fortnight, but we've got time in the summer. Um, and secondly, um, I will, if you're agreed, I will try and get hold of Mike Hill and see what he has to say. And he may not have seen the letter, although he presumably, if he's been talking to him, knows mm. broadly speaking what he was going to say. You do point out to him that Rye is different to Y. Mm. Yeah. Could be some confusion there. It's why it's why it's the nearest school. It's even more complicated. Though you have raised, you're, you're, though you have raised this at the CALP meeting, it may be useful just to have it put on the agenda for CALP and say, we are having this difficulty, etc. Have, have any of you got any experiences? Mm. At least it's in the arena. Yes. Mm. And it's if it's in the arena, somebody may well respond and say, we're doing exactly the same in Dover. Uh, and it may be just useful to do it. Yeah, of course, at the count meetings that I am involved in are only Ashford. Yes. Uh, but it can, it can escalate up to... Precisely. And I think it would be very useful to find, just in a general sense, and say, yeah. we're having this difficulty, are you, have, you, have you got the same problem? Sure. Unfortunately, because I only got elected chairman for the May meeting, at the May meeting, uh, and they'd already fixed two meetings, which are why I'm on one of them, there's a workshop for uh, for area chairman and uh, executive committee meeting, mm. uh, and I'm missing both of them until okay. the next ones. Um, but I agree with you. I, I mean, actually, no, it's probably difficult. I was going to say that there is also the escalation where we have um, um, resolutions which get uh, put forward, discussed at the Calc AGM, sent up to NALC for consideration, mm. and all that sort. But in a way. Our ducks are not in a row to do that yet. No, no, I, but, but, but just to bring it to the attention, because yeah. if this is going to be in the wider sphere at some stage, yeah. at least you can say that, you know, we have attempted to investigate the problem. Okay. The other thing I was thinking, John Hunt, the BBC reporter that came down, yes. Yes. might be worth contacting him and <clears throat> finding out where he's at I with it all that. now. So I've got his email or with, or with the sort of uh, Kent radio. Yeah, yeah. You know, is there not some forum that a question could be put on yeah, the radio? As, far as, as far as the press was concerned, BBC in this instance, that would be better coming from the parents. parents. It would. Yes. It would. And the reason I say that is not least because I know from a direct conversation mm. with him that Mike was very, very anxious mm. about us taking that ourselves. Mm. Um, and, and he started getting at me, and I said, that's nothing to do with us, that was the parents. But he did interview me as a parent, oh, indeed, before yeah. I can follow up. Yeah. As a parent. Yes, I'm right and sore. Oh, yes, right and sore. I challenge any radio station to grasp the difference between what happens after three miles and then yeah. what happens after six miles and so on, you know, and it's... Obviously, the council can't do it, so yeah, radio yeah, stations yeah, 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 do you see what I mean? That's, <laughs> the chances of you getting a cogent outcome for a radio station is a good one, but it's such a complicated... No, just to try and get to no, just it. put yeah. it out again yeah. into yeah. Yeah. the yeah. public yeah. domain yeah. and see if there's any response from other... Have they fixed a date for the, the appeals of any children from Wichisham? There was one a couple of weeks ago, but that was a special case a month ago, and it got refused. Um, I won't go into the exact no, I just, detail. Is that the one that started at elsewhere at Peace, mm. Peace March? No, that, that, that was all solved uh, last year oh, because right. the child then went to grammar school instead in the end. Uh -huh. So yeah, they don't yeah. get it. Mm -hmm. um, now, there has been one a bit similar here, mm. the children moving address, but the parents staying the same, you know, broadly. Um, and um, that got refused. The parent 
was telling me in advance of the appeal that uh, he wouldn't let it rest, but after the appeal, he was rather, well, I'm not going to get anywhere, so I'm wasting my time, <coughs> which is a shame. I have, though, he did come up with something else which is rather interesting, and it's another, um, it's opening another flank. I'm relying on what he told me here, I mm. don't know. If you were getting a school bus, like the on the Bates coach, yeah. in this instance they charge £400 per seat. Mm -hmm, that's right. Although it costs them rather more for the bus, because of the way they do it. I believe if it was a different bus in a different place going to a different place, it could be more. But in our case it's 400 If you are a child going to a school which is more than three miles, or maybe even less, yeah, even less, but certainly more, but you're not entitled to the school because you're going to not the nearest yeah, one, yeah. and you're working, you're using a bus which is a route bus, mm. so you know, you're going from here to Maidstone or Tenton to Maidstone or something, or you know, Tenton to Ashford, Ash Ash you get the big bus, you get a Kent Freedom Pass, mm -hmm. which is a Kent County Council Pass, like the LAP passes, uh, which allows you to get on a bus. Mm. I think any bus, but certainly the mm. route you do, but I think any of them. The, and Kent, the point that Roger Goff made to me in the first meeting, we're doing a fantastic job here with the Kent Freedom Passes, we're subsidising them, we're really doing more than we need to, there's no statutory obligation, etc, etc, etc. And all you're doing is coming in and complaining. Well, of course, Kent mm. Freedom Pass is no use to us because no buses. Mm. But the interesting point is this, I am told, a Kent Freedom Pass costs £350 yeah, per child, but not £400, <laughs> and you only have to pay for the first two children. So if you've got three, as this individual had, you're going to pay £500 less. Oh. And that's not to be ignored, and it's not fair. <laughs> but you can't use Kent Freedom Pass, even if you had it, on the following page. No. They've got two twin systems and they are not. I'm not sure they've been using it eight times either. That's no, good. probably not. No. Well, you would be because you're using <coughs> it to go to school. Mm -hmm. sure. True. Mm -hmm. Unless you're very late. So that's another little thing. Anyway, okay, that's yeah. school transport. Thank you for that. If everyone's agreed, mm -hmm. that's nice. what we will mm -hmm. push okay. on with. Mm -hmm. It is, I'm afraid, what seemed to be a silliness that we would get over quite quickly. It's just become bigger and deeper yeah. and messier and harder. <laughs> okay, Sid's update. I've got, for the clock. Yeah. I've got a response, but not that we're getting anywhere, but um, just to remind you, I've, KCC wanted the licence that Ashford provided wasn't good enough, so they wanted a different one. So I asked Ashford back on the 3rd of April I first asked them to come up with something else. I chased it on the 9th of April because we had a meeting, nothing yet. I chased it on the 12th of May before our meeting, on the 4th of June before our meeting, on the 1st of July, and again on the 8th of July, and I got a response today oh. to say sorry for the delay in responding <laughs> due to annual leaves. An easement is a bit of a sledgehammer to crack a nut but I can understand KCC's principles on this. I've taken instructions, and whilst we can agree with an easement, although I'll need to draft a different one, we will need a better plan showing at least the position of the pole and the route of the power supply. Are you able to provide one, please? So I've gone back to say, well, the plan is the one that KCC gave us, and it's battery operated, so there is not other power supply. So she is. She then asked for um, the chap that we're dealing with at KCC. She asked for his details so that she can go straight to him. Good. And that's where they are. Well, that's progress. Well, it's not, okay, I'm sure. where, it's not a big it? progress, but they are at least accepting that they could move in KCC's direction. Right. Without, without means connections. I tell you what, the money won't be enough by the time we get to it. We will have to go back to our happy bar council and ask some more. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? Yes. <laughs> uh, right, next one, thank you. BT Wadeev update. Um, mm. There were a couple of things we agreed last time. One was that I would speak to the, the householder. Mm. I did. And she was saying, 
you know, you remember she was asking for mm. that. She mm. said, oh, mm. so, you know, Lisa Mary Lyon working again and all the rest of it. And I explained what had happened and where we were. Now, the other side of this was that they did find a way leave. Yeah. Uh, it was almost handwritten, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, 40, 40 or 45 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. um, it did actually then make sense uh, that the line went across the field where the hedge used to be, and the hedge hasn't been there for many decades. So it didn't go across the middle of the field as we think of it, it went across where the hedge was. Mm -hmm. But no hedge anymore, and as far as we know, no protection. Um, the email that came to you did say that we were in fact entitled to give them three months' notice, which would be a bit of a lark. But mm -hmm. We yes, don't really we just, no, I just take it further to seek because yeah. with the way leave and getting mm -hmm. some money is what yeah. that's another. Well, we'd like some money, although so that's what I mean, we haven't got anything definite no. yet. No. But um, there is also the question I mean, we don't really want to give them notice, but if it's an unprotected line, yes, the risk, the risk is that we will actually damage the, it again. The and they'll say, again. well, you did know it was there, mm -hmm. so you shouldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. And then we could get a bill, mm -hmm. which would be bigger than what they pay us. So it's not a great situation, but it's one of those things that's going to be hard to change. And incidentally, if they do go and dig it up and change it, of course there's going to be a yeah, hole across the field. Not quite. <coughs> okay, scan awareness presentation. Uh, you heard from Joe and I was there with Yvonne. I don't think anyone else was there. No, no it's not. But it was good, um, better than I expected, I think it would be fair to say. The films were useful. The, um, the one about the old, uh, the old project being uh, ripped off was actually very, um, I mean, it was done by very professional uh, mm. acting and uh, filming and everything. It was very good. Um, and of course, all too true. It obviously made a turn in the knife, but it was very, very plausible. Um, so yes, you're welcome, you know, you're willing to do it again. It's just a question of mm. when, how, mm. if we can get a better audience, mm. a big can audience. I, Go on. Can come in here? Please. Um, just to say that there, from the people that were actually at the coffee morning that stayed, we then had 10 others that came in from yes. the outside. Mm. Um, you went down special. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that was good. That's right. And from that, one of the um, chaps that was at the coffee anyway, um, Joe and I both had an email from him to say how good it was, thanking us, shame that more people weren't here. Good. And that was there any way in which we could let more people know about it? Mm -hmm. One of his suggestions was a leaflet in Outlook mm -hmm. with the basic details down because it needs getting to people that yeah. are <laughs> likely to come to a presentation or to give the presentation, and Joe said she's happy, to another audience. Sure. Well, one of my thoughts was the lunch club, the Monday, mm, yeah. third Monday yeah, in the month, idea. because they have often have somebody there, yeah. and there you have got the elderly the very people, people, the very audience. audience. Yeah. You're also going exactly. out to Stone as well. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. and mm. they come from not only, I mean, I've been there, helped a couple of times now, and it's not just Stone or even... British, it is a rider, and people that have had, mm. you know, been here and know the village and have come from outside, mm. so it is. True. So I was wondering whether That's I mentioned it to, yeah. um, Judy. to Judy that yeah, night. Yeah, that would be a good idea. It was, yeah. excellent yeah. idea. That's right, because it was about, in that actual fact, with people asking questions and making points, mm. it was about 30, 40 minutes, wasn't it? Oh, mm. It was good. Um, could something go into Outlook from someone who was there just um, commanding it and saying what a good idea it was? Yes, yeah, once again, whether we done. can do you know, the basic bits, perhaps Joe and I can get together on this and come up with something that can go that's into Outlook. Top five tips. Or yes. Like, yeah, top ten tips. Send, send ten thousand or send you a leaflet. <laughs> <laughs> I have a quote at the end of it, you know, which satisfied resident, I don't know, was it? Well, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Testimonial. Or even the chap that said how good it was in the first place. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I would say yes. So we still use that. Yeah. Deputy's emailing. Um, Try to sign him up. You could e you could even 
put in your tips and say if you've already talked to Judy by then that it's hoped to, to put a presentation on yeah, at the future lunch club. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, obviously the outlook now is September. No, indeed, so, yeah. so you've got enough time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mid August, you've got to put that in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is only a month now. Uh, Ashford Mediation Service. Keep correspondence as well, isn't it? Oh, it was in the minutes. It was in the minutes. I read it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, if you remember, we were asking whether there was anything, any information that they could give us that we could put in the Outlook. Um, he, it's also a thank you for the check. He, he says he couldn't explain. I can't explain how pleased I was. Both in the envelope this morning and by the generous donation, and I know my trustees will be very grateful too. Mm. Um, he was communicating with one of the colleagues. You've all seen this email, and he came up with something that he produced for um, another parish council. But it is rather long to put in outlook. Yes, it was a long with outlook. Yes, it's, it's, so it could be adapted. If there's anyone that's good at um, pricing it, well, you do that, don't you, anyway? Well, you could send it in if there's space. Yeah. It may well go in because sometimes we struggle. Yeah. But, but, it's not but, but you also say you reserve the right to uh, oh, yes. a, a yeah. bridge anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they have the yeah. right to a bridge, so I, I, I think it'll be useful. Yeah. 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 You don't need to go to the space it will go in. Yeah, so I think you can leave that to the editorial committee. We'll worry about it. Good thinking. All right, that's everything. Thank you. Now, Paul's special subject. George's. George's. Ten points. Wi-Fi. Finger on the buzzer. I've just connected. Right. No, no. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, I've just got back I'm five. I'm just using my phone, phone, my phone and just downloading via the uh, my data at the moment. So that was working fine. This is more than highlights. No, sadly what happened was I forgot last, <laughs> after the last meeting to tell Steve Schuerger that we'd agreed it and he said to me two days ago, I see in the minutes <laughs> that they agreed it. They said I'll get on with it now. So that was literally two days ago, so that was my fault. So he's, he's doing it. In hand. And it's in hand and it's going to, it's going to be in the name of the village hall and then we'll invoice four times a year or something. <laughs> Oh, you're so going to pay the cost, yeah. Yeah, so it was just okay. one invoice. One invoice. And you haven't got to keep okay. doing it. Fine, so. whatever. So, yeah, so it's happening. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, I'll just, slip, I'll just slip in at this point, although it's not in the agenda, another effectively a matter arising, which is about the swan. Um, you recall that we agreed that I would write another letter a month or two ago to a government to go to Ashford. Mm following up the first one that said that we were trying to do something about it and this one said we've got the group running and uh, got a chairman and they're meeting and we had 75 people at the mm-hmm. first public mm-hmm. meeting and, and you know just really saying don't get flummoxed by the people who would like to build the houses um, you know we really are after reopening the pub mm-hmm. and it went to Tim Naylor again talking to the chief executive this is the one that came back to Jeremy Smith, Chairman of Wittisham Parish Council, Wittisham, and it did get delivered um, by a smart postman. Uh, 28th of June, Dear, and it's, this is good. Um, Dear Mr Smith, the Swan Public House, Wittisham, I refer to your letter dated 11 June 2019 concerning the above. Thank you also for the very helpful update on the situation as it currently stands. Pre-application advice was sought from, because we knew this was going on, mm. which is why mm. we wrote the letter. Pre-application advice was sought from the council in March of this year, seeking retention of the public house and the erection of three dwellings on the site. Officers raised concerns in respect of this. In terms of any residential development on the site, whilst the site lies within the built confines of Wittisham, a number of concerns were raised including impact on the continued viability of the public house, amongst others. Now, he is raising, uh, this is Tim Naylor, Head of Planning, he is raising the fact that continued viability of the public house is a key, because, of course, it's got the asset of community value, and he is saying that in the pre-application advice, it was pointed out that it would have an effect on the viability, and there were other concerns as well. So they're not getting an open goal. 
pre-application advice, he then says, is heavily disclaimed and does not bind the council to a decision to do so would clearly prejudice the democratic process of a planning application. It's also often based on limited information, which I take it is code for saying, and they didn't tell us what you've just told us. So I think that, that is, that's very much in yeah, yeah. the mind. He's, yeah. he's signed the letter. Um, I mean, the problem is, the longer it goes on, and the longer the swan is redundant mm. or whatever, and the longer, you know, eventually, presumably the owner would be able to say, well, it's been vacant for 20 years and you can't mm. stop me building on the car park because nothing's happening to it. So I presume there is that level of urgency. Well, I don't know. It's a point, Alan. Um, it's an asset of community value until it gets reviewed five years after it was put in. It, even though it's closed, it's mm. still an asset of community value. Yes. It's just one that's not serving its purpose. Of course, we might say, I suppose, I'm just speculating now after five years, um, do we want to put it in again because it's not there? And we would obviously be saying, assuming we were asked, we damn well do want to put it in again because we're still trying to reopen it. I mean, the whole idea of the asset of community value was that it has a community value. Mm -hmm. The only comparison I can really think of, I mean, I'm going back quite a few years now, was when we were thinking of moving surgeries. And we were thinking of perhaps um, building somewhere else. No, I'm talking about Tenterton now. Yeah. And the advice we received was that, well, of course, your current surgery has uh, attached a health use clause, and so it's got to continue to have use as a health provider until you can really show that's totally redundant. Right. And it's, you know, we were told there will come a time when you can show it's totally redundant, in which case you could convert it into flats for somebody else. But until you can show that it's redundant, um, then you've got to provide health from it, and you can't use it for any other purpose. Presumably the same applies to a pub, when you can know, when you can show that you no longer can provide public house services from it, then you, something changes. Well, there's a difference between the two things you've given us. One was no longer can, and the other one was no longer need to. Yeah. It's a good point, though, because the, 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 the view of that site anyhow is it's a commercial site. Uh, and, and the parallel is Swetland's garage development, which was the reason that wasn't just all houses. Mm -hmm. And so the point was also made by the planners that, that in the, in the uh, pre-planning advice, that there are certain conditions for operating a pub. You can't just have a, a room, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and food, uh, uh, and beverage, food, food uh, and uh, hygienic preparation, etc. I mean, it was just, it was just, you'd end up having room for two drinkers probably. With all the different criteria that were being sure. that's being stipulated. Indeed. Well, that's what they're hoping um, is that we would just have room for a bar and a, mm. and a barrel of beer, and everything else would be houses. Mm. Yeah. And this letter is saying is mm. not saying that as a decision date. Of course, it's heavily discounted, disclaimed as he calls it. But the fact is, he knows, and he's made it very clear that they know that you can't have the houses and the pub as they would expect the pub to be. Viability, as he said. Mm. And they've Isn't introduced you know, minimum garden sizes, yeah. etc. I mean, there's a whole raft of yeah. stuff. And, and it's six pages long, the pre-planning advice. And I don't really believe the person who requested it has properly read it through. No. Um, but you're right. It, 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 you know, it, 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 it's, it, is, it is an unusual situation. If you look at the uh, other community pubs that we've um, uh, reviewed in, in Kent, and there was also um, uh, an open day um, about two weeks ago up near Blackburn, the Plunkett Foundation, who we're looking to for funding, uh, held, and lots of community pubs came, how they got going, etc. And Karen, who was sitting next to Lee there, she drove up there because she's on the on the committee, and spent the day up there getting all the feedback. It's very interesting what what was uh, what was said there. The one thing that is a bit different for us, of course, is it's not owned currently by a brewery, and a lot of community pubs are aware mm. the breweries decided. For example, I think the Farrier's Arms was mm. originally. Ship of Neem, that's or, right. You know, and they decide they want to close. That's not viable, and yeah. willing, yeah. and they're willing. And they've also got other, you know, for Ship of Neem, for example, they're also very aware of their own um, profile, reputation, standing. Mm. So they're not going to try and, you know, uh, upset a, a community. We have got this unusual situation um, under John Newton's stewardship. We are making progress in trying to nail down certain aspects of 
what exactly is going on or the, or the, or the, real, the real criteria. It's incredibly difficult, um, but we are kind of, it's like assembling a jigsaw mm. because there's an awful lot of hearsay mm. that goes around on these things, which is actually not very, very helpful. Though. It's sometimes contradictory. Um, well. it's, yes. It sounds very contradictory, and, inc- and including the person who operates it or was operating it, um, sets hairs running all over the place. We're trying to pull that together, mm. uh, and, and one of the things we're looking to do is get you know, um, a professional, external professional valuation because <coughs> the sums that are being quoted are going up and down and left and right and what have you. And so um, we, we are looking to um, uh, take a membership of the uh, Plunkett Foundation, which our borough council has very kindly agreed to, to support. Um, and that gives us access to a whole range of advice. And we're just in the process of applying for that. The next thing is to get a professional advisor that comes down and talks to us. So probably, probably has little relevance, but I'm just thinking naturally. I, I, I had to drive over to Lewis uh, a fortnight ago. And if you're going, I go a funny sort of way, and you go through Cripps Corner, yeah. and the pub at Cripps Corner is boarded up, um, which um, may have some interesting comparisons. And then I went on towards Lewis, and I had to go through Glind, and there was a pub, I remember, which was thriving in the middle of the village of Glind near Lewis, which mm. is accessible for Brighton and so on. The garden was always full of jollity, mm. and that's boarded up, the Trevor mm. Arms in Glind. So there are... So it's. I mean, yeah, sadly, there's. The, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons that. Well, the whether, whether there's any, in Sussex, any way of comparing notes to see with any, mm-hmm. any. I mean, that's just for, for your committee. I was yeah, just, no, it's you know, helpful. Do, do Crips Corner yeah. and Glind have both got closed pubs, yeah. and, and within the last six months. Mm. Jeremy, the letter that was sent. What was the date that the the, the advice was seek, sought? Mark. Um, I thought that he had actually sought it in about January. So did I. At some point. It says that um, sought from the council in March. Now well, I think we, that we, is perhaps when it was issued. We met him in February. We did, yeah. Uh, and you give certain information on that occasion that he had yeah. positive yeah. ratio. Indeed. If, if you take. That could that be a war, of course, which is what we thought at the time. Yes. On the other hand, it could have been that we actually put something running that he had not done. And, and following that, he did seek information. Well, indeed. Um, but there's also a possibility, and these things are sort of coming through woodwork, that sometime along that period of time, somewhere along that period of time, he started to involve himself with other people. Thank you very much, Joe. Good night. He started in, in, to involve himself with other people who might have been partners in his aims, mm. and they perhaps mm. took it. And, and Possibly, I just it was just there, there was a we met in February mm, and in March. Yeah. He is now indicating I that think that's March. I mean, it was a, uh, a, a a significant piece of work. It would have been based, of course, on presumably him having met a person and maybe done a you know a note on that. And it probably took some time to turn in. Mm. Mm. Okay, one other thing on the swan. Um, there's nothing on the agenda, so we can't actually take a resolution on this, but just for you to think about and give a view. Um, Paul has got, I suppose, an other than pecuniary interest here, uh, but it's not on the agenda anyway. Um, John Newton has asked me about the pop-up pub, which they are going to run. Uh, whether the parish council would help them with the rent for the village hall, which I believe is £200 for the two days. Now, we did have a discussion here earlier on when we were setting the thing up, and what we con- concluded at the time, what we resolved at the time, was that we would help them with some money that was needed. We were thinking in terms of uh, renting the hall if they needed to have it for meetings and things, and what we said at the time was we would approve £50 and more was available if they needed it. Okay. So it'll have to come back in the May, then the September meeting, uh, unless we happen to have a meeting in August because of planning. Um, we can't resolve tonight, which is not on the agenda, but do we have a general view at this point, should we decide not to change our minds, that we are willing to make some, uh, it's £200, I said, some um, step in that direction. Obviously, they're going to be running a cash business, so they have cash, but on the other hand, the cash is intended to go towards the swan, 
not towards the ritual. I'm not suggesting the ritual shouldn't charge. They've got their no, own accounts to manage. A reduction as well. They've got their own yeah. accounts to manage. Um, but are we actually likely, when we can, to feel that we would make some? Because that helps John to know, you see. Well, to I would support it. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it was a bit. I, I, I thought possibly 50 50. Yeah. 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 Where would the money one. come out of 137, section 137? Mm. Yeah, but we've got a, we've got a margin. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, how would so, it So, subject to it being rolled mm. properly on another mm. occasion, we would probably be able to have it. I suggested yeah. that that was something I was going to put, uh, but I couldn't confirm it until we have a mm. formal meeting on it. Yeah, no, he, said that was, he said that was fine. They are looking for. Non-financial supporters wouldn't help on the on the two two evenings. I, I'm going yeah. on the Friday, Good. but I can't I can't help. I said I'll wash up or cook or a drink. drink. Well, no, they need. I mean, there are plenty of people need to go on a drink. It's 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 not just the fact that they need to raise some money, no. but it's also to demonstrate that people are actually interested yeah. in having this yeah, yeah. facility in yeah. the village. And um, you know, there are some signs going up. That's one near Mervyn's yeah. house. It's nice giant too. beer. You know, and, and but they do need some some. Help. So people can spare an hour or so, then they should get in touch mm -hmm. with our uh, next door. Karen. Yeah. yeah, I'm away, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, no. I, yeah, yeah. So mm. I um, apologies. Told him I be away. George, has, if has, you give him the money, if you give him the money, he will buy drinks for us all. For everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should drink them. <laughs> okay, so that's um, the pub slipped in there. Thank you very much. Um, and we must remember to put it on the agenda next time. Yes. Good. 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 Excellent. Right, we're on to the planning now. The London Bar at Ewan Land Public House. Um, who's going to start us off on that? Well, I think as we've heard, it was mm. all, it's, we've rehearsed the, the same thing over and over mm. and over. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't see, I looked for it all and I couldn't see anything that was different from last time. Mm. It would last be nice time, to know we why, were why it, when it was withdrawn and why it came back. It would be mm. nice mm. to know. Doesn't it seem to be in Mrs Southgate's name? <coughs> As opposed to Mr. Southgate last time. Ah, could be that. Could be that. But yes, I would. That, would the panel tell us if we asked? Well, I had an idea. Was yes. mine correct? Well, it was my speculation based on what you first told me, wasn't it? That there was yeah. that notice. There was a notice went into the local paper that I think mm. you turned up to, mm. uh, asking for anyone who claimed ownership of the land yeah. there. Mm. And my speculation, and it's no more than that was that possibly they will then say, well, no one claimed that land, therefore no one can say that it's not ours kind of thing. Now, that seems really pretty weird. Well, but, okay. you know, um, I, after Sue sent it to me, I dropped it round to Keith Bailey mm. because I was going away at the time, so I just said, do you, are you aware you ought to need to do something about it? Now that was my only thought, that that form, the original one, mm. yeah. that last page where it says mm. about ownership of this, that and the other, whether that wasn't correct. So it got withdrawn, then mm. it went through all that bit, and now it's been come back as the same thing. So as I was saying, then I, I haven't changed my view on that from last time. Mm. No, 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 I, I agree with you. No, so no. we're all firmly of a unanimous object. Yes. Mm. Now, I think, Yvonne, we actually put in a certain amount of script last time because I seem to remember writing stuff about the, um, the parking and the bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we need that, to do that again. I think we've got to put it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same, same again. Yeah. Is there anything, I mean, probably the answer is no, but I'll just raise it anyhow, in the sense that if somebody puts, up, puts uh, an application that causes a lot of distress mm -hmm. or objection, and then last week withdraws it, and next month puts it in again, and then withdraws it and puts it in, to what stage does it, does it become... Um, uh, you know, mischievous or vexatious, because uh, you know, I mean, having heard sort of Leslie's mm. Mm. situation, mm. well, they all sounded visibly upset. Yeah, I'm sure well, they having were. having sort of fought, fought it and and it we and it got withdrawn, and then to have it come back again, you know, I'm just wondering to what extent it can keep. Can you just keep coming back? back I've back not back. come across an occasion where this happened, but I would think that after sort of. Probably five or six times the planning department will get totally fed up and find a good reason. It's a waste of their time as yeah, well. Quite. But this, <coughs> this application you've got, don't mind me speaking, um, and the moment it's a new application, yeah. it just cost them money. Yeah. yeah. Well, didn't you can read, I see it. After a year, 
But it's not, it was less than a year though, wasn't it? The no, it's got a 19 in front of it. It's got a new number. If it had been the same application, just put back in again, it had the same number. Yeah. So something's, something's changed and we haven't spotted. Basically. Well, not worse. That's that's terrible. Terrible. Put it in again. Mm, I mean, if you well, look up the old people, 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 If you withdraw one, you get some of your money back. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure about uh, that. If you withdraw and then resubmit the same application, you don't have to pay, you can do it within a year. <laughs> mm. okay. There's something we haven't spotted. There's something we haven't spotted, I'm sure. What about this garden comment about? I think that must I didn't really, I, that, I didn't spot that in, no, 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 in the, in, no, no. you know, if you start fencing off part of the driveway so they can't get by or, a, or an emergency vehicle can't get by. Yeah, yeah, that they spoke like, about that last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that part of, I think part of the issue is a squabble, and it seems to have a lot of murkiness from what I've gathered from Leslie in the past as to exactly who owns what, because yeah. companies have gone bust, yeah. and apparently some aspect of the Crown owns part of it because they inherited it because it was a bankruptcy and what have you, and you know, who's got rights to this, that, and the other. And the other thing is, in, in land registry, even if you have them all, you know, it's as all of a a line on the land registry map that could be about here or there, mm -hmm. you know, and it makes all the difference if you're trying to get a car Can a planning authority rule that in perpetuity there should be access for emergency vehicles? Or can, they, can, they hmm? can anybody? When you've got this it's sort of dispute... It's, like, it's, it's a civil matter between the owners of the different bits of land that yeah. be in their rights. So that if, for mm. argument's sake, Leslie has got right of access across from the front of the road up to her place, that will be granted in her deeds, and I presume it has to be in the other one. Well, that's the problem. You're all relying on yeah. a lawyer's But then if someone comes property, and puts something across that, then you have to, mm. then you have to take them to court. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what they should do is probably get a legal representation to put in the conditions mm. that... The, that will will bring this to a head, yeah. which is about legitimate and yeah. and and equitable access emergency I vehicles. Urge, I urge Leslie that she yeah. Yeah. had to go to uh, yeah. a sister. She yeah. had yeah. it in the past, and that's what upset her because what I told her, she mm. suddenly thought she would left something, and, and she got very wound up over it. Unfortunately. Mm. Mm. Right. However, mm. that, so we'll do all of that. Which from CME Primary School and the infants play area. So, oh, sounds so like a brilliant idea. Really. Yes, yeah, yeah. sounds a good idea. And I presume they've got the money. So we're all fully supported. Yes, yeah. good. Thank you. Uh, next one then is to review the emergency plan. Now we should do that occasionally, and the clerk will talk to us about that. Well, I'm, you all have seen it. Yes. Um, I obviously have been updating it as names and things have changed since we started it in June 2015. So if you have all looked at it, anybody got any comments as to whether anything needs changing, improving? Don't the sub team still there. Sorry? Well, wasn't there the flooding piece in there? Yeah. Flooding? Yeah. yeah. I'm lucky to be able to talk about that. The whole no, not quite that old. <laughs> it was on there. <coughs> no, I don't. No. I, I, got, I don't think at this stage we've got anything to change. No, nothing to change. No. Lovely, thank you. I mean, it, it does say no. on it to be reviewed. Yes, well, it's, it's been reviewed and it's been so approved. When I looked at it, I thought, oh, well, well, I'm so happy with that. Agree. Yeah. Yes, yeah. these at the moment. Yes. Thank you. Can I feel? Can I feel? I I just mentioned in the context of flooding that we had a presentation at a CALC meeting. This is for mixed blushes. We had a, a presentation at a CALC meeting when John was still chairing it, probably about four years ago, five years ago, and it was all about flooding, where it's emergency planning, but particularly about flooding. And I was askance because the guy from Ashford came along and he was telling us all about how we had to do our planning for flooding and this, that, and the other, and there was a team in Ashford and all the rest of it. <laughs> to do this and that and the other and then it turned out he didn't quite say it and I asked him and pulled it out that the Ashford team was all there to help us with flooding but they were not authorised to enter the water <laughs> uh, yeah. and I was kind of this is utterly ridiculous we were asking householders to look after themselves and everyone else to go around helping but the Ashford team who are in charge of it are not authorised to enter the water <laughs> Strategic, well, not trained, he said. Not trained. Strategic overview. Yeah. yeah. 
Anyway, that was flooding, so don't expect too much. It's, it's called Luckily, passing the bucket. Not to up here. Uh, we could get fluvial flooding, but that just dishes up to a foot deep or something. Right. Here. Oh, yes. The next one then is consider registering an interest in VE Day celebrations the, in May the jail next year. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think we should. Mm -hmm. uh, all I would say before we all pile in here, and um, maybe it's entirely, I'm not knocking it, but when we did the Remembrance Day last year, the 100th, mm. um, um, we were very low key. We Remembrance Day, we, we had the list of things to do, and we might do this, 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 and this, and we wouldn't do that and that, and ultimately we did virtually nothing. Well, I think this time round, I think given the fact it's over three days, and I think given the fact it's in May, this is a bit warmer, and, and we, can, we can coordinate with other organisations in the village, because about the time of the yeah. Horticultural Society, yeah. it's also get the church and the history, history, there. history. I think Sorry, we should it. express an interest and right. reach out to the other okay. yeah. three or four main organisations, WI, I think the history say, society might be prepared to lead it, or take a lead. Well, certainly now that we've chiselled the um, names. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I think that it could be suggested to them that they might yes. like to do that. Yes. Okay. We'd like to support their leadership. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> On this occasion, <laughs> yeah. George, we need another bench. <laughs> <laughs> By, by well, actually, week on Monday. Well, we should put an order for it. We could have a, a I can add another line. one. Take one piece of wood out and add that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we, should, we should set up the, um, the British and Parish Council oh, but I think, yeah. shop. And we can have you making benches. Right. And, you know, how, how about we understand the History Society is keen on leading this? I think yes. them and the Legion between yes. them will yeah. get organised. Yeah. For example. I noticed in we the cafe this it. morning the Legion took up half this room. They were yeah. very, very um, well, well, they, they, they could work, work with me. Yes, yes. Okay, they that's fine then. That's the Legion. Comfortable with that. So mm -hmm. we're all in favour. Yep. Yes. Yes. All right. Provided we, we ask, provided we do ask, is we ask the other yeah. people. Indeed. Could we put it on the agenda for maybe I don't know, September or, or October, later in the year? That we revisit this because otherwise we'll find yeah. that nothing happens yeah. and it's going to be Auto. April or something yeah. next year and we haven't done it. I think we at least should revisit yeah. it. Should I three register months. now? Yes, yes. register yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, who's yeah. going to ask the other organisations? The clerk is. Yes. yes. Invite them to, yes. To you, you're going to actually say that the parish Initiative. council uh, decided that it would register for that. Um, uh, it's interesting that we do today's celebrations and you're now writing to all the main uh, organisations in the village. Mr Chair, who do you register with? Yeah. Oh, um, vedaysemptyfive.org. Right. So maybe we can persuade the History Society to register. We should all get them to register. <laughs> but, yeah, but the first thing you can do is even just ask them if they're... Yeah. Yeah. We've got a leisure meeting on Thursday. Right. I'll put it on the agenda. Right. 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 I think, I think so the work is good. What am I doing? You're registering. You're registering. Just you're registering. And say so to write to all the main organisations yeah. and say that we have decided to register and you're now asking them at the council's request whether they are going to involve themselves. We're, we're going to invite... I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit more bit. strongly than that. Right. Oh, okay. well, well, I expect some sort of thing. You know, 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 you Robust as a word that comes to mind. So we're talking about the Legion, we're talking about WI, WI, Horticultural, WI, Horticultural yes. History Society, Bridgeport, Tennis Club, Bridgeport, Bridgeport, Church, and it's Is it a tennis club? Is it School. Cricket well, I think anyone who's got a school. The school. Will it be the cricket season? Anyone who's got a tennis court in their belt? Yes, of course. Well, then we should have a VE Day celebratory president's cricket match with all the trimmings. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We could could identify the trimmings. Yeah. 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 From, yeah. from, from, from September. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The nation's toast to the heroes of WGS mm -hmm. World War II, the cry for peace around the world, churches and cathedrals ringing out for peace. Well, that's the church bells. Oh, the bells. We'll have a, we'll have a <coughs> tea dance. We'll find out. We'll, we'll have a... Um, We'll, we'll have the cricket match. We'll have the cricket match. We'll have yes, the. Um, um, we'll have the. Um, we're going to do what? Is it, not the Legionnaires. Is it still um, having a cricket match? The Squadronaires. We'll invite like the Squadronaires. Aren't they having a um, um, street party? Who's that? Let's, let's talk less than two years. What yeah. bring the heroes yeah. on the 29th of July? Yes. Or why couldn't it be featured in next year? Okay. Yeah. Well, for cricket, it's very early in the season and the weather is quite likely to be bad, so that's the risk of April and 10th of May. Well, on a positive note. Still we could have a Levy's football match. Right. No. Okay. <laughs> we'll we're keen to do something. Yvonne's got her list. She'll be asking people. I mean, whether the Horticultural Society comes and does something horticultural or just simply brings interest and communication and that. And, and well, we should, also involve, we should also involve the school. Oh, Very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, much so, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned that. They ought to be the driving force too. <laughs> and the walking club, they did a lot of walking in 1945. They did. Especially. Well, I mean, there was Dig for Victory, wasn't there? And I mean, that's very pertinent again, which is all the growing around vegetables. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It could be. Spread the word, we're going to dig up Coronation Field. That'll get you interested. <laughs> okay. You were not. Let's, let's move Ooh. on. Then. Move me on. Let's move on now. Talking of Coronation Field. The late next one is to agree mm. project details for half past the Coronation Field Pedestrian Gate Memorial Garden Circular Path. I sent out this very brief little yeah. note because <coughs> I felt we ought to have a note mm -hmm. uh, so we knew what we were talking about and I hope you managed to yeah. glance through it. If you recall, those of you who were here or involved, about two or three years ago when we had a site meeting on the field, um, we agreed to do a few things, one of which was cut the hedge, which we did. Yes. Um, another one was to make good this gap in the path mm. so that people could walk on a hard path all the way from the bus stop gate down to the hairdresser's mm. gate mm. and therefore not walk around the front of the memorial where it's relatively dangerous in order to stay dry and not free. But we were going to wait until uh, we uh, finished the cemetery so that we had, we knew we'd got the money. Well, in fact, the, the cemetery is taking time, but it doesn't look as though it's going to cost as much. We have got more money in there. Um, we are quite flush. And um, with, you know, we're in the summer, winter's coming. I don't know how long it'll take. But what I thought would be a good idea was if we agree that we now want to get on with that, it's obviously a multi-stage process, then Yvonne can go out and discuss with potential mm. contractors both what they would propose to do, because it's not just putting two yeah. inches of tarmac down, it's going to be a matter of how much digging, how much oh, yeah. type mm. one, and, and all the rest of it. There's a the paper, under, paper, under, paper, paper under there, you have to be careful as well. <laughs> not, not in this area. Oh, yes, it is. It goes over the top of it. Yes, that's yes. yes. right, it does. Um, That'll be a blue cone. Um, so, that she can discuss with potential contractors what they would propose to do and how much they would propose to charge mm -hmm. for it, and then it can come back and we can resolve. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want her to go and do that and bother the contractors mm -hmm. if we were then going to say we didn't want it. That's the entire thing. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. think it's, I think it's essential at this stage. Yeah. I'm going to work around. And I, I know it isn't our responsibility, but it would join up the dots of that if we then continue to the path from the hairdressers oh, indeed. to the gate. Exactly. And that's that highways, I guess, isn't it? All in favour of that, yeah. but it will be a highway to yeah, that's what I mean. and they will make it very expensive. But if we've already well, done that bit, oh, yeah, no, I agree. More, no, I, mean, I yeah, think for the sake of yes. what, yeah. 10 yards of yes, time, it's all true. It just means that the cars can then park on there until on the grass. Yeah. At least there's a pavement. No, without curve, don't you? Yeah. Okay. yeah. You're quite right. I, so I always don't know, favorite. perhaps at the next meeting that could go on the agenda and we could agree to do something about that. Mm. Mm. True, we could. <laughs> okay, good. That's, thank you for that. So now, correspondence. Night, Roger. Night, Roger. Good night, Roger. Good night, Roger. Good night, Roger. I understand so much excitement. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I didn't know you had to do that. Um, right. Oh, the books would like their usual. 
927 pounds for steam. Very much appreciate the support of the council and hope that the magazine can continue to share information about local events and issues. Mm-hmm. Are we happy with that? Yes, certainly. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good, okay, yeah. that's good. Uh, we, I suppose we ought to have a, because it's quite a sum, we ought to have a proposal of Paul and George. WKPS annual group membership. We joined for the first time last year. Yeah. Or the year before, possibly. Are you happy with that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, good. Now, the next one is, is a tricky one. Email from Mrs. Jane Burnett. She lives mm. in Quarter House with the Alpacas. Um, well, not literally. <laughs> Asking the parish council to request a lower speed limit along a stretch of Peening Quarter Road. Now, she put in a whole long yes. detail that yeah. you've seen. Um, it is true there are quite a few houses there. It is also true that speed limits are coming in in the rural roads in Kent, like a rash at the moment. Um, I, I sort of have two views on it personally. Um, I suspect it's not going to be easy to get one lower than 50. And in a way, not many people are going to go more than 50 along there anyway. No. You're really pushing your luck. Having said which, if it, if it was, and the other thing is that it is sometimes said that if you put a 50 limit up, people do 50 because they feel it must be all right. Mm-hmm. But if you don't put a 50 limit up, they might only do 40 in the first place. I certainly found that from where they've done small hive in Stenson, yeah. that I never would have driven, even thought of driving anywhere near 50, yeah. and now I'm driving at 47 um, just to get <laughs> What happened, I think, this was, a case, this was a case of moaning from the local people, and, the, and, and, and Mike decided... Quite so impressionable. I did see correspondence where Mike agreed to support them, and it obviously went through. Um, you know, I... There was a strong case for putting the 40 in small hive. Mm. The question mm. was whether Peening Quarter matches small hive, or indeed well, I more people or Widdersham, and the answer is it doesn't. But it would be to do with the, uh, the um, Not with small hive. National Trust the property, wasn't it, what's it called? I think so. Yeah. Helen Terry was to do with that, and people walking up and down the road and yeah. in the church mm. and everything that I think well, caused I think that, wasn't it? I think probably we should support her, because that type of road I was reading in the Times only last week is the most dangerous <coughs> type of road in the nation. Yes. yes. Much right. more dangerous than a motorway or a oh, dual carriageway or anything else. I think you should start in Peening Quarter and go all the way to the village, frankly. I think it should because go right now. Because outside my house, maybe yeah, I should declare an interest. I think we should but support it. People will get way over 60, matter. 70 out there. I mean, some of the cars that go over there. Yeah. Well, we'll, st- well, don't, we'll get there. Yeah. 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 You won't. By the time we finish, it's a bit So what we will do then is... Not from the village to Paul, although Paul... We understand Paul would like it, but along from the village to Paul's is a very thin case. I mean, unless all, I mean, this is the other thing, that nationally they might decide to bring them all down. I mean, if some people had their way, they'd bring them all down to 20. Um, yeah, that wouldn't work. No, but bringing them all down to um, 50 or 40 nationally, of course it was 50 once when we had the oil prices, if you remember back to those days. Um, yeah. That's a maybe. But otherwise, from the village along past Paul's, there are only a handful of houses. Peening Quarter's got a stronger case. So that, that, that Peening Quarter uh, starts um, by the wine shop, I guess, mm. just beyond that, that corner, mm. right? And, and, and then it goes all the way to Cooper's Corner, mm. right? Which is mm. British and Road. Mm. And, and then what we'd be saying, it would be de-restricted for um, 800 yards, a bit more than that. It should run into from your house to where the levels start. Pardon me? It should run from your house yeah. to where the levels start. Yeah. So so you walk from your house. Well, that's why, that's why to me, it makes sense in the to bend. join the whole thing up. That takes in the bend at Revlo yes. Villas. Yeah. It takes in the twist a bit past James. Yeah. And it takes in that rather nasty bend with a reverse camber just before the levels. Yes. And that, that's but the irony is there then. So when you actually get to the bit where well, you can do 90 miles now. You can do 90 miles now. There won't be a speed limit other than the national one. Yeah, well, then, then, then you're quite soon in small height. But I, that's what I think anyway. Yes. I, think I think it's personally a good idea. And it should start at your house. <laughs> Then you've got a bit between Paul's and... Yeah, yeah. that's right. You can speed up for up to 90 miles an hour in that short bit. <laughs> yeah. the, they have the actually very recently put a sign outside our house, which, which is a... Well, a beware Venning, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is a double... Yeah, can, I suggest, yeah, yeah. can I suggest that if we are going this way, and it sounds as though that's the way people would like to go, 
we focus on the part with the strongest case. Uh -huh. That is really what Jane is asking for, which is the part with the most house drives and a bit of a bend and on the hill. <coughs> the hill, of course, means that going down, you can't slow down and sort of can't break as well. So if you just focus on that, she's put her own thing together. We could indeed, I suppose, if this is what you thought, simply resolve that we support her case and submit it to Mike Hill. Has she put in a bit about the unresolved icing over and water? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because that's, that's nothing to do with it. I, I, I genuinely don't believe that's to do with the water board. <coughs> because they've been out there and dug it up and looked for the. I, I think they've been down there and dug it up. It's irrelevant. I think it probably is to do with the water board, and they just haven't found the problem. Yeah. But it's, it's, it, it makes that corner yeah. by Jane and what's the other, the other Jane, yeah. that, you know, yeah. very dangerous. Any something. sunken road will tend to have water running out of yeah. it because it's below the neighbouring no water time. I, I, I so is our action going to be again to contact highways and ask them to consider doing well, that? Well, I, when I just support Jane. I think we could, what I suggested was that uh, I think we do it through Mike Hill okay. yes. and we would simply say that we've resolved to support her start. case and send it through yes. and ask for his views. I mean, she's asked because he's the one who got the 50 up to 10 to yeah. as far as I know. She's asked for it to be 30 miles an hour. Surely that's never going to be 30 no, miles no. an hour. Really. No, but she's asking for that. Well, she's asking for that. Is it You're right. We shouldn't be. I don't think we should resolve to ask for 30. I don't think no. we're going to get I it. Think we can ask for any point of um, related information. This is related information to the speeding and, and, and the village and what have you. Um, Coming out of Acton Lane, which I've done recently because of the meetings down really at John, bad. it is really, really bad there. I mean, I've ended up winding the windows down. Mm -hmm. so I can hear so. There used to be, many years ago, a mirror yeah. on, on Tim's land. Um, and it's no longer there. It wasn't that many years ago. Well, it, no, it, it was, was, it was a while no, back. No, yeah. but well, there well, was another was, one put there yeah. more recently. Can we yeah, as a council... Wasn't that your yeah. yeah. mirror, though? No. Can, can we as a council yeah. please investigate putting our own mirror there obviously or, or at least oh, ask for permission to put it and will and we support the funding of it i presume it keeps getting vandalized doesn't it yes well it gets hit by yes. Yes. stone by tractor things, things mm. probably twice it's been no no the, the, there was there's been two in my to my knowledge there and each time they've been vandalized i don't know why. i don't think they get to the deliberately tractors vandalized i think they just get hit by passing vehicles can't you put one up on a, on a pole angle down so it's not, it's not, it's, it's vandal proof as much as you can. And I've seen, they're not always down at that level. No, those things were on poles. So yeah. Poles about and, edge. Yeah. I think we should investigate. We don't, it is, we don't own that land. No, I know that. I know mm. that. But who owns the land? Probably Piper. Piper. Right. I well, think Piper may have put one of the mirrors. Well, maybe we can. when they're putting out the tractors, think, they put yeah. it there. Yeah, well, I think we should approach Piper, you know, and say, please, could we find some way of making that exit safer? And if it requires funding for a mirror, you know, a first of all, request maybe he could help, right? Because he's not averse to no. polite correspondence. No, absolutely not. Um, Ask him if he'd put a mirror up and if, uh, and if necessary, he might be willing to contribute to the Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. that's yeah. the message. I mean, he uses that for his tractors yeah. yes. a lot. Oh, and so yeah. it's, it's for the safety of his own workforce and yeah. himself as well. Yeah, he's very pleased with that. And the thousand motorcycles. So we're still going to have a first mirror. We've got a number of accidents. We've got a first mirror. Yeah, that's yeah. because you've been going up and down the road. Yeah. Can we come back to the speed limit then? Yeah. The one point that Sue correctly raised was she's asking for 30 and that's not going to happen. It's not. Um, it's just ask for it to be reviewed. Um, so mm -hmm. we, in terms of us endorsing it mm -hmm. to Mike Hill, we need to say that we uh, endorse the notion of considering a speed limit, although we don't subscribe to the request for 30. Mm -hmm. Do we have to say that? I think we do, because otherwise we are actually endorsing 30, which just means we're not going to get it. Well, we are open to professional advice as to yeah. what the best limit should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah most appropriate. Okay, that's, yes. that's a yeah. more polite way of doing it, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then, okay. yes. And well, then, thank you, Mrs. Burnett, for raising the issue. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 We'll probably see Kate out there with a, a yeah. measuring. We will then, of course. Because get she was there in small height before it, it got reduced. So. Well. We won't mm. wish to have it. Of course, if we all put up the same scarecrow. In the autumn. Just put a message it's on there. She's, uh, over, she's a policeman holding yes. a radar gun yeah. all through the village. Now, I mean, just historically, in, I don't know if you can place this, that road going through Sandhurst. Um, mm. So you turn right at the New London 
junction yeah. And, yeah. and along there, and then it suddenly becomes rather surprisingly a speed limit. Yeah. I do have a friend who lives along there who you, you know you don't say no to, and she got Anne Whittaker out as the MP when Anne Whittaker was the MP for that district, and said yes, definitely must be a speed limit, and one appeared. So it was the MP who fixed it in that particular that case. 40, 40 mile an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. If, you know, if, if Dane can get Damien Green on side, <laughs> then she's probably on to a winner. Okay. I think I was sort of relieved. Well, all I would Getting out would have come back to that is the lower the limit, the more village people will get caught for speeding. Well, there we go. Well, you would but have as you say, it. it's something that seems to be in that that becoming a national trend. Get oh yes, they are coming up like a rash, mm. and, and, and in a way, one of the problems is, I don't know about you, but I go along and I haven't a clue what speed I'm in most mm. of the time, because they don't have much in the mm. way of rules for the repeaters. Mm. You think, am I still in the 40, am I in the 50? Am oh, I don't worry, the way you're going, you'll see me on the driving <laughs> awareness course. <laughs> no, I'm in touch wood, I'm okay. <laughs> I've been on one recently. <laughs> just, just, just to see you. Quite interesting. That's because Alan was trying to get some power against the most enjoyable day. I would have thought the other one we were to be thinking about at some point in the future was 20 mile an hour limit outside the school would be a. You can't do more than five there. <laughs> I know, but um, people do. Okay, on we go. Uh, thank you for that. Then uh, you've got everything you need. So I hope. So that's a question mark. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, good luck. Mark, to tell us about Lloyd Bank and changes to banking online. I would just, they've just come up with making it more and more difficult. We don't do it anyway, so yeah. I've just put it in as Next. Okay. <laughs> Do we bank with them still? Yes. Oh, okay. No, it's their nearest own branch. I think it's New Romney. Tony Roll told me the other day. Yes, but I. And, they, and that's because, well, so we, but they might not have any branches to bank with. So. <laughs> well, I don't. All I have to do yeah. is put bank checks. I don't do petty cash. I'm not drawing yeah. anything out. Mm. So I do that by the post office. Okay. Special mm. envelopes. Mm. Really do the chap here, does he take checks? The post office here? Yes, mm. they do. Yeah. 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 Sorry, it's just a lady. It has to be in a so special, special envelope and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She's oh, always right. been a lady. If not as wise as she be. Um, oh, I, um, and why does New Romney deserve a bank and Ryan tends to not? Who knows? <laughs> no, 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 one can be bothered to, no one can be bothered to roll what one out. Well, rich Marsh Farmers? Sorry? R- rich Marsh Farmers? Yeah. Yeah. They don't need a bank. They don't need a bank. I don't think you have the mattress. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all done. Okay. Clark expenses. On we go. This is where I brought in, you wanted to mention the... Um, piece that we had from the PCSO that I forwarded to everybody right. yeah. and put on the website oh, yeah, extra, yeah. but you said you wanted to discuss it yes. at the meeting. The report. And I didn't know. Why? It wasn't, I don't know why, because Pete, it, it, it wasn't... You said you'd give people the opportunity to discuss it at the meeting. Anyway. Yes, but it wasn't Kate's, it wasn't instead of Kate's no. monthly, no. 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 you know, no. personal. No. That's all it was. It was just the fact that if it wasn't on the agenda, then no one could say anything about the no, piece. No, it's not on the agenda because no, it was... I know it isn't. We can just do it on an item's and information. I said, yeah. And I said, if anyone wanted... I'm not saying everyone should want to discuss it, <laughs> but if anyone did want to discuss it, they needed the opportunity. Okay. And as you say, it could be an item of information. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. Oh, well. <laughs> Good thinking. The clerk's expenses. I gather she's been... She's done money. very well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. You've all got it somewhere. Yes, we've got it. On the back of the thing, right? Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah, we've got a copy of it. There it is. And then we've got nothing else. Right. The mm-hmm. Nothing at all. Seems very. And I have receipts for it all. And it's all very moderate and modest. Oh, yeah. there's another parish council. That Chairman's they, allowance that again. Their what? clerk and just yeah, demanded job, money. Yeah. At the risk of asking a question. <coughs> is there, only because I do this, is no, there some printer cartridges? Can we not <laughs> clean the vat back on this? Not on this particular one because I got it cheaper than. I got it through Amazon and it was cheaper than getting it, you know, through another way that I got the vat back. Right. But normally I would. Yes, if no, I no, could get. No, if, I just, if the supplier yeah. is vat registered, no, they're it's not. Oh, they're not vat no, registered. No, I Amazon's yes. I, I get it, depends where you get it from. But, but no. Okay. 
It's the same as black bags. Okay. Sometimes it's black bags. The yeah. thing about Amazon, I don't know about whether there is a criteria, but I keep at the minute, and God knows why I buy that stuff on Amazon, I suppose, but I keep getting emails from them asking me to sign up for a business account so I can then get the VAT back, which of course I can't. Mm. So it may be that you could sign up for a business account with them. Well, I can't because it, I, it's just me, obviously. Yeah, no, that's Let's fine. Go back to yeah, the it's probably just leave it. Mm. Mm. Just leave it. Mm. Mm. Just mm. Like it. Mm. Mm. No, but they keep asking me if I want one, and that's <laughs> just me. Oh, that's a bit scam. Yes, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the same with what me. Are you doing? I'm not really I'm not, I know, but they yeah. ask me if I want to sign up for a business account. But if they keep asking me if I want to, then you may be able to. Okay. And then you could have the that back. And then you'd be even cheaper. It's not a lot of money, yeah. but it's just you might when you're nothing to do one day. <laughs> just uh, yeah. just see just see I'm being So do you want us to vote to authorise the class expenses? <laughs> we do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. class expenses, yeah. yes. And very reasonable, I think. Good. Well, Good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're moving on. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, the monthly transaction statement. No care. Yeah, okay. yes. 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 Nothing apart from me is now going on to they say it's keeping on top of the grass, but it's not really. It's just everything's growing too fast, too quickly, and people are moaning about it. There is a comment Good. on next door about the hedge, isn't there? Yes, sure. yes there yes, was. Yeah, there is, yes. Obviously, someone didn't realise what Alf did. Yeah. Now they explain. They name him. <laughs> yeah. You, you yeah. Can There's a man called Alf who's supposed to do it, but they get some of the contractor in instead because he can't do it properly. Yeah. Well, oh, that's I what it said, wasn't yes, it? Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what it said. Oh, I didn't. I missed that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I explained. I explained. Oh, yes, I yes. There well, what, what did you explain? That it wasn't the responsibility of the parish council to cut that hedge. Right. Yeah. The one down the oh, side. Yeah. Indeed. Mm. Um, next one then is the monthly transaction statement. C can I just talk about the tractor? I understand that, that, that there's been a problem with the new tractor. Has there? That it won't fit in the garage. And he's had to take the roll. Oh, roll yes, he's, he's got round it. Has he? Oh, yes. What is he also new gap? <laughs> <laughs> but does that mean the roll bar isn't on it anymore? They usually fold down, to be honest. They do, yeah, they're supposed to fold down. But they fold down, down on the trailer, it doesn't yeah. fold fit in. Yeah. My only concern was, I've, there have been occasions, the mound that used to be the slide in Coronation Field, I've seen Alf going up there on the tractor and cutting that with the tractor. And if it tipped over... Oh, OK, I'll find out. Yes, that's why I thought it was a good idea for this one to have yes. the rollover bar on it. Well, they normally just fold back. Yeah, but he's, I've said that to him. He said it still doesn't fit in even if it folded back, so he's had to take it off. Right. Okay, I'll find it. That is really good. Take a bunch of things and put it back on again. Yeah, no. what a name. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. Good point. Uh, so, the monthly <laughs> transaction <laughs> statement that we've all had. Yes. yes. Um, you can see the purchase of the mower is there. Mm. And and I want to know who Amanda Holden's guest is. She is the daughter of uh, Roy Bailey. The late. Right. The late. The late Roy Bailey. Yes. Okay. Move me strictly. Is everyone happy she with it? She yes. Does. yes. Thank you. Doesn't Who's going to um, so propose? To, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Colin and George. <clears throat> And the caretaker part is just a bit of it, of course. Mm -hmm. Everyone happy with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're in the way we are, because we've already done the last. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Just shows you how that one stands. Really. Right. That's good. First quarter's financial statement. Um, you've got this as well on yep. the opposite side from the clerk's mm -hmm. expenses. Um, Yvonne has already explained it to me that the reason the concurrent function grant doesn't show, although we have had it, is because it wasn't budgeted because you never know if you're going to get it. Right. So it's not budgeted, therefore she hasn't showed it, but it, mm -hmm. we do have it and it will go into the accounts, but because mm -hmm. it's against the budget, there's no budget line to put it against. Yes, you would have seen it in the monthly transactions. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so... I was close with the insurance, you noticed. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. 
Have we got uh, any bills, any cost estimate, sorry, for the bus shelter? No, no, I haven't got that. Kind of I just noticed that in the minutes of the last meeting. We're yes. supposed to be doing something about that. Yeah. Yeah. Did. Yes. When she came back, it's sorry about that. Yeah, well, it's up in a way. Yeah. And, uh, I did say to Yvonne, but she hasn't had time to do it. This was just a bit of a whimsy on my side. We've, You know what the bus shelter is like, and we don't know how much it's going to cost us to re, um, refurbish it with the cedar and the rest of it. But by, I just happened to be noticing when I went up to the Ewan Lamb in Rolvenden Lane the other day that they have got a very fine brick bus shelter there. Looks very similar except it's in brick. And it's not new, it's quite old, but it's, because it's got a sign on when they did it, a bit like ours has. But it's still in perfect nick. That may be because their, their youth is better behaved up there. But it did just occur to me that I don't know how much it costs to refurbish the wooden one, and it probably wouldn't cost that much to build a brick one. In fact, the biggest cost would probably be the bricks. No, I think you know the biggest cost would be labour, wouldn't it? Really? How long has that one been then? Um, Which one? It's got a date on it, hasn't it? 53, isn't it? Of France. Mm -hmm. oh. I think we've had 65 years out of it, we've got more to come. I think that's been reasonable. It's been, 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 been refurbished a few times. Well, yeah, but even the brick one probably has as well. It's been refurbished a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, but is it like Trigger's new broom? Yeah. Trigger's broom with new, 14 new heads and 8 new handles, and it's still the same broom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> There's nothing left of the original bus shelter. But <laughs> sure, it could be. Um, my thought was simply that. You would be getting something that was more robust in brick. Now, I, I, I honestly, I don't know how much it would cost. No, I don't. Um, but you know, just before we plunged into doing a whole load of woodwork, and then it would be good to find it. Well, let's yeah. go and quote for it. The other issue is: is there, is there any sentimental value to the one that's there? Would it upset anybody? Well, if well it it's Miss April Tree who would be upset. Miss <laughs> April who? Miss April, April Tree. Miss April Tree. Oh, okay. She's commemorated it within it. Mm. It's, it's the plaque is inside. Well, we could. Oh, I, I think that's a really important. We should at least. Make sure the plaque is reaffixed. Yeah, well, you mean? I think it's got Well, you asked anybody would be upset, and this April tree is the one who wouldn't. You see, it doesn't catch plastics. I was thinking from this this world rather than the next. Please excuse me. Reclaim bricks. Thank you for coming. Okay, unless there was a friendly bricklayer in town. Well, there is, we know. Who would do it? He's advertising all the time. Yeah. But then he wants to be paid. Well, indeed, he wants to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, mate. Good There's night. quite a few names mentioned inside the bus shelter, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was hoping that a brick there might do it for love. <laughs> for, the, for love of the village. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, the thing to do would be to get the local college and have their brick name class to do it. They'd love a project like that. Yeah. Good thinking. They'd absolutely love a project. Yeah. And they're teaching brick name in a number of classes. Yeah. Well, so who do you contact? Homewood or? Um... No, I don't know. Right, 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 right. East Kent College. East Kent College. Yeah, they do a good day class. Yeah. yeah, college project. We yeah. supply, we supply the bricks, and they do the work. Yep. Yeah. Excellent idea. And they, and they have a, a, a certified yeah C I kind of everything <laughs> C I B person sort of supervising. The thing about the uh, all the prisons and the lane one, of course, is that it's all that. I mean, it's a matter of if you can count the layers of bricks and and the measurements and everything, and it's. It makes it's great. Working from one of our prisons. Right. Why not? Okay, so we're looking because to, to do that, you have to be able to supply loos. You have to supply yeah. somewhere where they can have a tea break. Yeah. You've got loos. Yes, you yeah. provide all their personal safety. Equipment. Well, they can pop round to the chairman's house. <laughs> no, no, the public loos are nearer. <laughs> Leslie, <laughs> Leslie is nearer. <laughs> oh, Leslie, very quiet. Right. Right. Church. That's the publicly available loos. Really? <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is. Okay, yeah. come on. Um, so we know where we are on the bus yeah. shelter. Uh, small steps. Um, the decisions received. The land adjoining the beaches, as you will have seen. Mm. The interesting thing is that they granted both of them. Yeah. Yes. We turned easy. down one three years ago. Well, the, it changed. was the stunning speed with which mm. they did it. It took one's breath away. New planner. New planners. I, yeah. I think not. I think it, 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 it because it, it, New that's gone through. Head. But then, but then the one down Kingsgate hasn't gone through as speedily. So there's another. There's a different. No, but they're different planners. I think they were the same planning officer. Oh, were well, they? Okay. Or would he have just picked the wrong one up one morning? Well, it, it's gone through. It went through in three weeks. What I do know, by the way, um, is that um, we've got a new portfolio holder for planning now because it used to be Paul Clover, the member of Tantadon. And it's now become Neil something. Bell. No, no, it's, it's not shorter. Bell. Shorter, the other one. 
Neil Shorter. Um, he is now for planning. Mm. And uh, he, I gather, wants to reorganise the department, but Tim um, Naylor, who is the head of the department, and service, he was already working on reorganising the department. So exactly whose reorganisation it's going to be, we don't know, but they definitely are trying to reorganise it. Well, except that this was all done at planning officer level. Indeed, yeah. And, and so it would have gone to his line manager, which would have been jolly up to Oliver Peel. And that's yeah. where it, so, I mean, it's, yeah. it, it's suddenly it's quite just decided to speed up. Yes, but it's, it's not only, I, I, I take your point, Alan, that <clears> it was quick, uh, well, for whatever reason, we don't really know. But in a way, the more um, specific, the more kind of demonstrative difference is that it got granted. Yeah, it's it's Apart from one, there were no objections. None of the neighbouring right. mm. mm. neighbours objected. Good. And see, Kingsgate has had objections from uh, the, the normal attendees here. Mm. And I don't know that this did. Huh? No, this it didn't. One, no, but it had one from down your way. Oh, yes. Of course. Well, he's, 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 he's seemed to be in, in the camp. Oh, sure. But that was the one... But none of the neighbours, so that might have made a difference. Yes. The neighbour was clear. Yes. But well, the interesting yes. thing there is bringing it back to a very I don't think we're in the level. <laughs> the one that he was most directly concerned with has gone through. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, it, we, and, and, indeed. Anyway, uh, there's not for us to know, but I thought it was quite a wide range. Um, we also yeah. had um, yeah. Lord Inzost, the yeah. Mr. Building yeah. consent. Yes, from where? Okay. Okay. That isn't on your list. Was that the one where they had to get the consent to rebuild yeah. the road or something? No, it's listed building yes. for changes in the usage. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Highways. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and one thing about highways is that uh, this came out, I think Yvonne sent it to you all, or I did. You did. I you did. did. Yeah. I would have done, but you got there. I got there first. Yes. Um, I haven't studied us. This is what I saw at the meeting. I haven't actually gone through it again. Um, but mm. I think potentially it's probably quite interesting just to say what they're doing. Mm. Uh, albeit they haven't quite caught up on the idea of doing all the potholes nearby. Yeah. yeah? And judging by Swan Colleges. Um, How far does our boundary extend to going towards Iden? Um, as far as potholes are concerned. It, it, it goes down to the county you, boundary. You can see where the county boundary is. Yeah, it goes down to that. Where where do we do? We do? Okay. Yeah. So because there's a piece out the side of mm. the... They've done one just now. Yeah. They, may have, they may have not done the other one, but one of them in the side there, just when I came up there a couple of days ago, had been done. Right. Okay. So it's Tyson Marsh down at the, 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 down at the river there. Is that Wigginshaw? Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's the we side have, of the we, we have this side of the river. Mm -hmm. I thought it wasn't. The, diff the difficulty is that Sussex and Kent signs are not uh, lined up. Mm -hmm. and they're not quite sure who owns the river. No man's land. Yeah. 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 I think we should the river isn't. No. <laughs> isn't within. It's the centre of the river yes. where the river, not a canal. Yes. Done by all the okay. survey. Yes. Um, yeah, the, the county lines, it's the same along the Thames. The Ordnance Survey decides where the middle of the Thames is, and that's the difference between Essex and Kent. Most precious subject. Most useful. It's um, like between, in that case, it's like between Rye, Boron, and Bladen, where I live. Is there a river? The, no, but the boundary goes down the middle of the road. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah it is the middle, but they, they have to decide where the middle is. And the middle is a whole load of complicated geometry. It's not very yeah. distant from two yeah. sides. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually it ends, George. You have to you have to do various perpendiculars. But don't worry about it. Only on the right bank. Right. Yeah. Public rights away. <clears throat> Any news on the uh, football? No, no. No. Yeah. First vegetation has been um, cut has been carried out, but I haven't checked it yet. But I'm going out to Aurie tomorrow, so mm. I'll see what they're like. But it got done the week before I went away and you're supposed to check it within that first week so mm. I noticed that uh, yeah. Jeremy's neighbour made a comment yes I'm just going to say the brambles that. yes Janet was worried Janet that she was going to get her dog's yeah. ears yes. her dog's ears yes I have I checked that today I've been mm. down there today and I asked Alf whether he could do the cemetery side but it, the cemetery side is good it is the actual footpath that is bad 
So it's probably a case of go down with my shears and. and I did ask it. Alex that now on Monday to oh, that's, sort his side. Yes, that I was going to ask you, but it wasn't yeah. mine because the I other side. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> but no, it's the end. What she's talking about is the footpath that goes between the orchards. Oh, right, now, yeah. You know, the, yeah. Middle, the, the <coughs> actual yeah. narrow mm. yeah. part of the right. Okay. But yes, it's. it's Open space is Leslie? No, I'm sorry. I do apologise. Uh, I have been we, away. We, 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 we're a joint team. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't, walking the dog. We haven't done much on open spaces for the last mm, month or no. so. But there are, there's nothing to report. Right. Because we haven't done anything. Just a cemetery and church. Yes. No, it's not nope. so it's it's anymore. Colin. Colin. Yeah, yeah, nothing to report at the moment. I, did we put a, a thing for costings for the church wall? Oh, yes, that's... Yeah, that's um, been agreed and it's... It's been agreed? Yes. We're waiting for that to be done. We're waiting for your yeah. to proceed. Yeah. That's Can I ask a very quick question? That's progress. On the, on the cemetery. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, no, no. The cem- no, the cemetery. We're a burial authority, aren't we? Yeah. Are we allowed to take in other people? Yes. Okay. We charged up. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. There was a major piece of um, coverage in one of the national newspapers. Running out of space. Running out of space. Yeah. And space. I just thought to myself, well... Is there a, an income generating opportunity for Wittersham? Well, I mean, as much once we once we've got the extension, no, 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 no. Once we've got it open, yeah, yeah. right? If we're charging double, we, I'm not suggesting we take in hundreds, but we should at least think about it. It's where where do you stop, Paul? Well, we could yeah. read book. Well, exactly, exactly. It's a bit. It's lovely. Yeah. The grass. Like British Airways is sticking yeah. yeah. club. Yeah. Very good. It's supposed to be. It is. Well, yeah. in the article, they were suggesting that way. Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can, I can offer a little bit of, uh, in addition to that article in the Times, which I sent to Ewan, um, because uh, it was a bit below the line as well, as there usually is. And um, because they were recommending that there's some, someone's recommending they ought to start doing burials along the side of dual carriageways and motorways because there's always plenty of ground and mm. they should do the barrels along there. Someone below the line suggested that uh, you live life in the fast lane, die <laughs> in the slow lane. But it is the M25 is the invention of the devil in the first place. Eh? Mm-hmm. Exactly <laughs> like And the tree in the churchyard. Sorry? The tree, tree. in tree. the churchyard. When I came past this morning, it hadn't been cut. No, I've had to, no the trouble is, so it's no. it glass just, hedges. No, that's fine. Where do we, no. That's fine. Mm. I just thought no, I'd mention like, it in case. I thought that as I walked up, ducked under it the other day, yeah. mm. last Wednesday. Yeah, no, it's on his list. Get round and <laughs> Priorities. He's got all the other villages all complaining yeah. as well. Yeah. How, how do we stand in terms of, so I was wondering this, when that blew down on about the hedge up there, need to... How do we stand in terms of asking people to volunteer to do things? Are we able to do that, or does that give us some liability if something goes wrong, or do they have to have a million pound insurance? Well, we, I mean, if people are, if they're volunteers, mm. they're covered with our insurance. Right. So where our hedge needs trimming, instead of everyone writing on next door complaining about it, they can actually just go out with their shears and trim well, the hedge like, themselves. You know, I've, I've, I've <laughs> done that before now, when oh. you've got extra mm. bits. Yeah, I just have, yeah. Yeah. the bits yeah. up. But, well, that's the other issue. The tractor didn't. And, and most and householders, did. And most householders' insurances mm-hmm. cover work or an injury or an mm-hmm. event happening to somebody who's working on their property with permission. Yeah. Yeah, but this would be on the highway, wouldn't it? You'd but then it, if it's in part of their garden, even though they're standing outside, I think that would mm-hmm. count. Okay. They were talking about other places. Yeah. Okay. Just wonder. Um, village Hall Management Committee, George. Uh, we haven't had a meeting recently. We're going to have a meeting at the end of this month because we've had nothing to have a meeting about. Okay. Now the Wi-Fi decision has been made. Very well. Did the roofing work out all right? The roofing has worked out very well. Um, yeah, and plenty of rain. <coughs> we've had some rain since then and it's, it's worked mm. very well. It? We've had it all redecorated in the storeroom. That was worse than ever though. Yeah, it could be positive. We're decorated in the storeroom and new shelving put up and everything like that, so yeah. that's helped. We also got rid of a load of rubbish that had been there for a hundred years. The next job, yes, yeah, to get the survey for these done and also get the forecourt done to get rid of those potholes, which is why we're having the fundraiser on Saturday. The fundraiser on Saturday, <coughs> the quiz to raise some funds. Sorry, I won't be there, but it gives someone else a chance. <laughs> of coming last year. So. <laughs> well done. <laughs> All right. Um, Date of next planning meeting, we of course might need one in August. That has happened before, we haven't got one at the minute. Just depend what comes in and what you can negotiate. 
the next council meeting is in September, of course. Items for information, the pop-up pub, Paul, you've mentioned already. Yep. It's proceeds to the what's name, and um, mm -hmm. hopefully we will contribute £100 to the rent. ABC corporate plan. Um, this is the, I've never looked at it before, uh, this is the corporate plan that Ashford did up till 2020. Um, and I did eventually find it on their website, it's not easy to find. And it does have a few things in there that are quite interesting. Introduction, of course, by the leader of the council, as always. Delivers on quality housing and planning, supports our growing senior population, lead full and independent lives, effective and efficient enforcement, which we often complained about. Mm -hmm. Making clear what's permitted, enforcing against what's not, strengthen our focus in rural areas. That's all from Jerry. So is this um, being reissued next yeah, year? It's actually being rewritten. Rewritten. Recovering yeah, rural well business it. projects in rural areas, uh, high speed broadband improvements, especially areas with slow speeds. Um, stuff about homes, naturally, and housing choices, and ensuring supply of rural high value housing, which is quite interesting because often it's old and we only want affordable. Um, delivering affordable housing in the rural area. Um, safeguard and conserve areas of outstanding landscape quality. Now, why this is on the agenda, as it were, um, small a, big a, is because Ashford have got to, this is 2015 to 2020, so they're going to start mm -hmm. rewriting the 2020-25. Mm -hmm. um, they've come along and asked the CALC meeting um, to start thinking about what they will do to provide input and all the rest of it. I, having been elected chairman of the CALC meeting, uh, this was through Michelle Byrne, who some of you know who was there, um, suggested that um, I wanted to know what they wanted to do. She went off to see the new cabinet member, who is the other Neil, Bell. Um, she went to see him and suggested, he suggested that he would have a chat with me and I went to see him last Friday. Um, he is the member for Biddenden, and he's, he's, he's been on the um, council longer than anyone except Mick Burgess, about, he said, 30 years, I think, well, in his 20 years anyway. Very, he says, very much a rural member, understands the villages, wants the villages to do their stuff, which suits us. Um, and he needs to get um, the rural conference or the rural forums, they've had two different versions in the past, uh, going again and he wants to know what villages want and how villages will feed in and indeed they've got to feed back to us and say what they want you know it's going to, he, he, we all know how difficult these are these things are to actually do but he would like to do them and of course it's not just Wittisham it's Calc Calc Ashford 35 villages and and the bits of the borough in bits of Ashford town but on the other hand, which have obviously got a part to play as well. And I don't know particularly what any of you think. I mean, a lot of this stuff, I'm afraid, is a bit of filling the, filling mm, the shelf much up. Sure. But I, I've only just got a look at it. But the point is that there are the odd little line that you can wave mm. around mm. sometimes, which mm. would be helpful. And obviously, we need to get them in. But well, presumably they'll be going out of consultation, won't they? And they will, but it's, it's, it, we want, well, we want to be in earlier than yeah. that. They will, but we want to be in earlier than that. And I think he wants us in earlier than that. Now, it'll depend on when meetings fall, when count falls, when this one falls. I can keep, sort of try mm. and keep you in touch with it. Um, but I just really mainly want you to know that it's on the agenda. Usually we wouldn't take much interest, but he is stressing that he wants rural input. <laughs> Jerry himself, the leader of the council, is chairing, which of course is more Greater Ashford than we are, but um, no matter. So that's where that is. Mm -hmm. And Neil himself seemed to be very, very amiable. Okay, anything else for information? George? Yeah, just as I was walking out the door, Dave Fletcher rang me to say, mm -hmm. and he was talking about the celebration we're planning for September, October time to commemorate the Airship Memorial, the Walnut Tree, yeah, change, sure. the new names of Normal. And he has been chasing the Deputy Lieutenant. The DL, yeah. Yeah. 
and he's been told that they've got to, it's got to go to the head office basically, and they will come back with some dates for the the, the, the county person to come. Don't, to don't do use it, because the it's word a war lieutenant war, doesn't war, exist in this country. Lieutenant, and lieutenant, lieutenant. They. Um, they they are going to because it's a war memorial. It's down to the county person to organise it. So, or they're going to come back with some dates that he's available, and then we can fit in okay. around that. Okay. Um, two. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Okay. Quick small point. Going back to uh, and even Nick told me this. He was looking it up. The the place that everyone came and got worried about the the conversion of the one of the mm. barn and garage. The, pre, the one that was withdrawn was a 2018, 18 being the number in front, so it's the next year. And the other change that Mick pointed out was that the original plan commission last year was for a redundant uh, garage, it's now being issued as a redundant barn. And, uh, it was a barn, barn in the first place and we got it changed. He, 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 he showed me the listing on the National Borough Council's website, yeah. the planning site, and, the, and that's the difference. One has barn and one has garage. If you, if you look it up. Well, they'll be saying, indeed, I think they were in Keith's, that it definitely was a garage, it was a pre- yeah. No, 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 I just... Yeah. Said yes, it said barn originally, it was yes, yes, yeah. could, yes, it came back, it came through, it was barn originally, and everybody said, we... No, 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 I just... So I went, it when it's listed, <laughs> when it, if you yeah. compare the two applications, <laughs> the one is listed as a garage last year. Well, okay. it would be, because we got a change. Yeah, no, I'm just passing <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've been around now. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. we then close? Oh, sorry, everyone. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, can I just, yes, just if you're away, please let me know. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm away from tomorrow. Got You've got mine. Yes. I'm in charge. You're in charge. You're in charge. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> can you do um, online banking? Can, <laughs> I then, can I then close the meeting? Yes. Yes, 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 please. Thank you. Can we? I'm away please. from August the 8th, the bar. Hang on. Until December the 4th. Two, 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 two